Hey everybody, how's it going? So on the Amazon Prime original series called The Boys, a mystery forms around the origins of Compound V, and originally thought to simply be a performance enhancer for supers such as A-Train, it's later revealed to actually be the origins of how normal humans become superhumans. And while the origins and usage differ slightly from the comics to the TV show, overall it's really just the same substance. And the superhero in the boys universe with the highest recorded dosage of Compound V is Homelander who is essentially the boys version of Superman. Now when going to the origins of Compound V, in the comics the originator was a scientist named John Vogelbaum and he was a Jewish scientist forced to basically help Nazi Germany in the comics and then later on created in the 1930s the drug was currently in that form imperfect and when introduced to subjects it had a few side effects that were very notable one of them continuing on to the later versions was that the drug turned people's poop blue. Now, Dr. Vogelbaum eventually left Nazi Germany in 1938 for the United States and later joined Vought American, who took Dr. Vogelbaum and forced him to exclusively manufacture Compound V for Vought, which led to the creation of the Seven. Now, after a while, the CIA started keeping tabs on Vought and the superheroes and also kidnapped Dr. Vogelbaum and had him make a temporary version and then later on a more perfected version of the drug and part of that was actually used for the boys, at least in the comics. And over the course of the comic book series, Compound V is introduced in a few different forms including a powdered drug form and of course the liquid serum form. Now in the television show, the Nazi origins of the drug aren't mentioned explicitly, instead it seems to just be a top secret program program ran by Vought International, and there they expose infants to drugs in hopes that they react to the Compound V with amazing superpowers, allowing them to become superheroes and then of course they'll sign with Vought, become merchandised by them, things like that, with the end goal being to basically eventually have a privatized military of superhumans. Now Dr. Vogelbaum also does appear in the show, although it seems like he created Compound V not for the Nazi scientists, but instead it was always intended for Vought International. Now the effects it has on humans is actually kind of interesting. In the comic series, when Compound V was given to a normal human, it gave them various superhuman abilities. The common abilities appear to be enhanced strength, agility, and durability, and also sometimes flight, but Compound V also has some unexpected side effects for those that sometimes didn't even receive superhuman abilities from exposure to the drug. And these effects included of course the blue poop I mentioned before, but cancer, heart disease, and brain damage. Now the perfected version of Compound V appears to give people a constant combination of strength, durability, and agility at superhuman levels with, as I said before, flight also being a common power given as well. And a version of Compound V given to the boys in the comics to help them fight superhumans and increase their strength by a multiplier of 50 along with enhancing their durability. Besides this, a powdered version is given to certain people for temporary powers which has a similar side effect, but it gives people primarily just superhuman durability for a period of time usually used by hookers and stuff like that so they don't die when having sexual relations with a superhero. Now the effects on superhumans is kind of interesting, so as shown on the show, people like A-Train get a boost in their powers, however they do become addicted to the drug. And for characters like A-Train as well, while it does allow him to push his max speed to greater levels and increase his healing factor, it also causes him a lot of paranoia and his powers become unstable. So this is the reason why in the beginning of the show he ended up running through Huey's girlfriend, because he just couldn't stop running as he was saying with the drug in his system. Besides the side effects I mentioned before, others include bone density problems, internal organ issues, and heart attacks, which are very probable, and A-Train actually suffers a heart attack in the show. But leave your comments down below, did you enjoy season one of The Boys? Let us know your thoughts on the show and Compound V's usage in potentially season two in the comments down below. What do you guys think, and what was your favorite part about Compound V in the show? Mine was the fact that they were basically using a fake kind of Christian organization to send it to different hospitals. I thought that was just ridiculous, but let us know what you guys thought down below, and we'll see you guys later.